So let's talk a little bit more about that test procedure. You've got an airborne sound requirement performance standards, and you've got impact sound performance standards. Airborne sound, you know, the speech frequency is us talking now is airborne sound. If we use an example as a block of flats, for the airborne requirements, you'll have to achieve the airborne performance for the separating floor, but also the airborne performance for the separating wall. The impact sound test is just on the floors. Now that would typically be footfall noise from above. So you're testing the vibration transfer through the floor in an audible sense. We've got the speaker here, you can see as part of the airborne test. And the tapping machine, which is down here, is part of the impact test. So you've got two flats here, one above the other, and it might be we're doing a test between bedrooms that are stacked above each other, or living rooms. We typically test from the larger volume room to the smaller volume room. So let's assume we've got a nice big bedroom upstairs, and we'll call that our source room. So we would use the speaker to set a noise level within the room, or what we call a diffuse field. We're testing across a frequency range between 100 hertz and 3.15 kilohertz and we get a nice level field, approximately speaking, 100 dB across the range. We will measure that, and then we'll measure the difference in the receiver room, so we'll measure what's getting through the structure to below. There are some additional measurements of reverberation time and background noise levels to correct the figures accordingly. So that's the airborne test, and you say across the frequency range, so in really basic terms from real low bass and frequency to really high, pitched frequency, is that right? Yeah, that's correct, you're in third octave bands, which are, so 100 hertz, 125, 160 hertz, you will class those as a lower end of the sound test, whereas you will go up to, you know, 2.5 kilohertz or 2,500 hertz, 3.15 kilohertz, which will be higher frequencies. What about the impact test, it's a different procedure? Yeah, the impact test, so obviously we're using the tapping machine, which you can see here, and it's a set of hammers that hit the floor. So we used the example before between two bedrooms that were vertically stacked. The tapping machine will be on the floor upstairs and the hammers will be hitting the floor and you're measuring the level that is received downstairs. The hammers are set weights. It's a calibrated set of equipment. So you're introducing the same impact on every floor you test and then you correct the level with reverberation time and background measurements to check the background isn't affecting the result and then you'll end up with your single figure result just like your airborne test. So on an airborne test you're measuring the difference from one flat to another Yeah. and on the impact test you're measuring the level in the room below. Yes, that's right.